A home renovator wouldn't get very far without their tools. When you are getting started, you don't need any fancy tools to program. You could just use a text editor built into your computer, like Notepad on Windows or TextEdit on a Mac. But most software developers use a code editor. The difference between a text editor and a code editor is that a code editor knows about code. It can provide color coding of keywords, variables, and data types. Like Word or Google Docs, a code editor will underline misspelled keywords and indicate syntax errors, such as missing semicolons or braces. One great editor that is popular right now is Visual Studio Code, also called VS Code, shown here. It's a high-quality code editor available for free from Microsoft and runs on Windows, Mac, and Unix. We install and use VS Code in the Gentle Introduction to HTML for Beginners course. Other programming tools that can aid your productivity include user interface builders to quickly lay out the UI of your application, debugging tools to aid in finding and fixing errors in your code, navigation tools to help you navigate around in your code, repository tools for storing, sharing, and retrieving code, and formal testing tools to help create and run code tests. An IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, provides all of these tools within a single code editing environment. For example, Microsoft's Visual Studio for .NET and IntelliJ or Eclipse for Java development are full-featured IDEs. So, there are many developer tools available to help throughout the application's lifecycle. A good code editor aids your productivity. An IDE, Integrated Development Environment, provides many tools within a single coding environment. Now let's finish up our journey with takeaways and next steps.